start our session okay please give me a few moments time we start our session now sharad uh, sai durga sorry sri durga umakam uh, we choudhary please take your mic please so, subra shilpa rohit pranay please any questions let me know please mahamad any questions please i'll wait everyone i'll wait how is your practice by the way that is still doing let me know please how is your practice Okay, How is your practice going on, please? I'll wait. Doing, sir. Still doing on stored procedures. Okay, okay. Going on. Okay, good. Others, please. How is your practice, please? I'll wait. Doing, sir. Good, good. Great, great. That's fine. Yeah. Please make sure, like, we do on time practice. Okay. See what all you can do. Please uh, practice it every day. At least something. Practice every day. It works. It works. Practice every day. Uh, what we are learning yesterday: stored procedures and basics of procedures, and what else? Few data types, right? Data type. Yes. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Well, let's understand our next important item: functions. Let's see. please get observation notes ready and give me a uh, one minute time. Okay. Please give me one minute time. You may see me offline for one minute. Please wait. Please hold on. Please wait. Give me one minute time. Please wait. Please hold on. Please wait. Our session. Uh, yesterday's class, we are talking about stored procedure basics and data types. Right? Let's continue today. Let's understand the concept of functions come on what's the purpose of procedures please you remember everyone what's the purpose of procedures procedures what's the purpose of procedures please you remember everyone please and wait passing a query yes passing a parameter right isn't it procedures they accept parameters isn't it please everyone mahamad pranay do you hear me please uh priyanka rohit shilpa shubra Vishal. yes sir. Please, yes, please, sir. Shake yes, sir. Yes. Shake your mind. Others, others, please. Yep. Yes, yes. Perfect. Yes, yes. So, let's understand the concept of functions now. Procedures are mainly for the purpose of parameterized queries. Right? Parameterized queries. Now, let's understand what about functions. Let's understand carefully. Let me connect to the server. And we are going to learn today how to work with the concept of functions. We'll do it slowly. Well, well, let's understand now. What are functions? The same yesterday's diagram. Okay. Let's understand now. Functions are database objects to store select and DML queries. Sorry, this one. To store select and DML queries. Observe carefully. Purpose. Functions are used for calculations, data analysis, and monitoring. Example. How to report employees for a given country? Or report number of employees? For a given country here list of employees from a given country number of employees for a given country observe carefully so basic types of functions the two important types of functions table value returning functions to report table data array collection example list of employees for a given country other one Scalar value returning functions to report single value. Report count of employees for a given country. Observe carefully. I repeat, table value returning functions to report table data like list of employees for a given country. Other one, 
scalar value returning functions report singular value example report count of employees for a given country like this syntax create function function name parameter name same like yesterday's class parameter name data type until here it is common right yesterday's session something new today returns data type return query create function function name returns data type as return of query or value like this with this information observe carefully the uh, syntax okay create function function name returns data type as return of query like this with this information let's take examples now i will connect to the database create and connect create table employee input table insert into table name values select okay we report the data like this now how to report employees from canada see here same way how to report list of employees from a given country come on please what we do how to do this given country with procedures you remember everyone yesterday's class please help me procedures class yesterday Janani, Kirti, kindly check your mic, please. Please, I'll wait. Create procedure. Yeah, create. Procedure, procedure. Just wait. Yeah, create. Then procedure, right? Isn't it? Create procedure. And procedure name, procedure to report EMP list at the rate country of type virtual as, as, what else? Select from table name where country equal to at the rate country, right? Isn't it? Yes. That's what we learned yesterday, right? Now, today, minor add on, okay? Create function, function name, function to report, function to report employee data or employee list. Returns. Returns what? returns we need to specify data type here data type is table remember table returns table as as what return of why syntax see here back to my other screen again return of query see here this query okay returns data type return query that's it so return of query in this way so once i create a function like this if it is procedure we have execute procedure name and for example, Canada, like this. Whereas, if it is function, what we do? Create function, function. And just now we created the function anyway. Select from, select from function name in this way. Well, here it is. So, select from function name. And we need to specify the 
country like this observe carefully id name country salary in this way so what we are learning here we are understanding how to report list of employees from a given country observe carefully for example see here how to report list of employees from a given country like this observe carefully now okay select from table name like this in this way now you may ask me procedures also we are doing the same thing right see here create procedure here also we are doing the same thing then why to go for function the beauty of function here on this output we can perform additional querying options like where joins group by etc for example emp cell greater than double seven triple seven double seven like this so this flexibility is missing in procedures remember procedures are not accepting extra conditions it won't work functions they always accept so functions are more flexible for reporting procedures do not accept additional querying options functions always accept additional querying options like where group by order by etc anything including joins also okay so here it is for example emp cell descending in this way one more example so this example is about reporting collection of employees so table okay table type come on what's the other function type you have you remember please everyone one is table what's the other one uh -huh. Huh, exactly scalar scalar means single value okay let's understand carefully how to report list of employees sorry how to report count of employees with a given country this one create function employee count okay employee count returns int why you are reporting count right number of employees Return. select from table name where country equal to here you don't want star you want count we are reporting count see here count of employees okay every scalar value returning function requires begin end these two are mandatory once you create a function like this select if it is table value returning function see here table value returning function select from table name if it is scalar value returning function then select schema name dot function like this and what happened what happened please please shake it please Sarat, please shake it something happened please shake it. please here it is please shake it take care take care please continue qsa observe carefully how to report list of employees from a given country that is table value returning function scalar means singular singular means schema name dot function name what is missing here column name missing so what we did in the previous classes as exactly as okay like this. 
I wait for some time. Two basic types of functions. Any questions here? Let me know. I'll wait. Okay. Can we put the alias inside the, the function? I mean, on the return. Yeah. First, I got a question. Can you put the alias here? We can, but you're returning only the value, right? It only takes for the value, not the alias. Okay. Return only considers the value, not the alias. We are returning int value, not the alias. So alias should be here. Still, you can put, but no use. You can put alias here, but no use. No use. Next question, please. Fine, let's continue. Previously, we learned system procedures. Come on, what are the system procedures we learned previously? You remember, please? Yes. Uh, SP, uh, help, help text. SP help, SP help, please. Please, and SP rename. Help. SPL text. You remember, please, everyone. Yes, help index. Oh, SPL index, etc. Right. Same way we have system functions. These are predefined functions in every database. Useful for database administrators, data engineers, and data analysts. DB name reports the currently connected database name. DB ID reports currently connected database ID. Date and time. Get date reports today's date and time. Day, day of the month. Day, same way, current month number. Or here, these are all predefined functions, remember. And if in case you are into data analyst profiles, there we need these concepts. Convert, where can get date. Every country has their own date time styles. 101 to 107 day format. 101 through 107 day format. For example, 105 gives you day, month, year format. 108. 109. Finally, we have the next item. Date add. Add one more day to current day. Date diff. Difference in days. Find difference in days between two dates. Same way, difference in month. See that? Difference in number of months. This is number of months. So what are these? These are all system predefined date time functions. Same way for queries, your string functions. Replace in SQL server, replace SQL with SQL. Reverse. Reverse the text. Length means length of the text. Uppercase, uppercase text, lowercase text, and substring means in this entire text, starting position one, get total five letters. Okay, yes, QL space, yes, like this. Left side. Starting three letters.
right side r say right side right side means last six characters l trim truncate extra space at the start of the text r trim extra space at the end of the text then char index reports first position of the character first occurrence of the character for example indigo this one o o is at sixth position first occurrence for data analyst query design data engineers and administrators how to apply both functions use the previously created database i think it's not there here i quickly create it from uh, before day for yesterday's class okay remember the other day we learned about uh, joins with group by yes you remember please yes sir this, yes sir i'm taking you back to the queries okay now let's understand connect to the database and see here for the specialty of this query we are mixing joins group by having order by and function see there substring if there is no substring directly you provide month what happens you get complete month you don't want complete month you wanted to have only first three letters what you do substring okay starting letter three characters but what's the problem here no column name so as num like this as num in this way so we can use functions for formatting the data this actual concept here one more example see here something called date i think date is there i think not date date let, let me just check it once okay yeah date by default you get day in this format year first you wanted to have indian style yes you want indian style day month year then what we do this one style convert target data type comma which column they column which style 105 105 means this one 105 is day month year format these are all predefined styles day month year that is a concept here so functions are mainly used for the purpose of formatting formatting the data remember okay next one more how to make use of sub query okay let's see couple of examples for sub query let's see here it is earlier classes we learned basic sub queries on single table here sub query on multiple tables join tables here i am using sum function count function and earlier if you remember schema sorry excel imports concept in excel imports concept we learned about how to work with basic sub query standard price like uh, select from prods where standard price prod sales you remember 
Excel import example earlier. Yes, yes. sir. Unit price equal to select minimum of unit price from table name and class is not null. See here, like this. Okay, next. From here, next step, let's continue here. Okay. So, what's the speciality where price equal to? So, this is the sub query. Okay, see here, select min of price. This is a sub query. Instead of mentioning two, instead of mentioning two, you are writing a query like this. Observe carefully. Next. With this information, our next step. How to report year wise, quarter wise, month wise, product wise sales? Here the speciality is order by. Remember, order by total sales. Hope you remember the rule, everyone. Hope you remember the rule, everyone. Uh, order by can include column alias. Select can include column alias, but other keywords cannot include column alias. You remember, please, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, please. Others, do you remember, please, everyone? Yep, I'll wait. Fine, anyway. Please, if you can go through the things carefully, okay? I'll just write the rule here, okay? I'll write the rule again here. Column aliases can be used in select and order by only. What about table aliases, please? Can be used anywhere. See here, P. What is P? P is table alias, right? T, table alias. I'm using the table alias throughout the query. But column alias only in last and first order by and select. I'll wait for some time. Observe carefully. Any questions here? Let me know. I'll wait. Next. Let's continue. Once you practice these items. Yesterday's class we learned about few data types, right? Let's understand the other data types as well. Please practice these items carefully. Let's understand the other data types. So what data types we learned in the previous class yesterday? Please, you remember integer, character, decimal, right, isn't it? Please, you remember everyone? Hello, wait. Yes, yesterday's class. Yes, sir. Integers, yes. decimals, uh, and characters. Exactly. Begin. Yeah, begin, tin, int, etc. And today we got table data type and daytime data types, right? Today we learn few more data types. If I don't know the type of column, I need to use one data type called SQL variant. Remember, it's required for our next examples. SQL variant. We don't know the data type of a column, then we make use of SQL variant. Insert into table name values. Now select like this. Okay, now what's the specialty here again? If we don't know the data type of a column, then we use this SQL variant, remember. Next, cursors. A special data type to store data inside memory temporarily. 
purpose used to access the data on a row by row basis example we can access fourth row of a table using cursor so purpose of cursor access the data on a row by row basis example we can access fourth row of the table using cursor let's see the life cycle declare cursor define cursor variable open cursor load the table data or the query result into cursor what is cursor it is a play area in memory to access one row at a time remember fetch or scroll cursor to read data from the cursor one row at a time close cursor deallocate cursor close means to close the connection deallocate means to destroy to drop cursor variable from memory. I repeat, declare cursor, open cursor, fetch or scroll cursor, close and deallocate. Observe here. Okay, let's take example. Remember the main purpose of cursor to access n row of a table. 7th row, 10th row, like this. Real time use of cursor to access particular row. Example, create table, ID, value, rank, and insert data. Select our requirement. Basic operations with cursor. Declare cursor name cursor for select like this. I declare cursor. What next? Open cursor. Fetch next. First row. Second row. Third row. Fourth row. Like this. One row at a time. Okay. Finally, close cursor, deallocate cursor. Observe carefully now. I'll wait for some time. Deallocate cursor. See there? I'll repeat again with a different example. Okay. Let's observe carefully. I'll repeat again with a different example. Observe there. Simple and straight. Our requirement. Firstly, what we need to do? Declare cursor. I'll take another example. See here. During declaration of the cursor, scroll. Scroll means to jump to any row within the table. To jump within any row jump within the table to any row 10th row 11th row 4th row back to first row etc okay next with this information now here our requirement what's our requirement to jump to fourth row so open cursor absolute four means fourth row Absolute three means third row. Fetch last. Prior. Next. First like this. Observe carefully again. We are going with particular row. Fourth row. Third row. Last row. Prior row like this. Finally. Close cursor. Dear locate. So the main purpose of cursor, main purpose of cursor to access one row at a time and cautious to use cursor. Avoid using cursor if possible. 
and minimize the data we load into cursor. These two activities we can do here. Declare cursor name cursor, scroll for where condition. So limit the amount of cursor data into memory for best performance. I'll wait for some time. Please observe carefully. Once again, declare cursor. Then what next? Once you declare cursor, then open cursor. Okay, open cursor. Then next. Declare, open then. We need to fetch, fetch one row at a time. Okay, fetch one row at a time. Finally, we need to close and deallocate the curse. That's a concept here. I'll wait for some time. Now, any questions, anyone? Let me know. Any questions, please let me know. I'll wait. Fine. We stop for now. Let's go in a slow pace, okay? You'll first practice cursor concept carefully. And after that, You'll proceed for this data types also. Okay, please do it carefully. Then we have something called triggers and transaction merge statement, rank window functions. We'll do them slowly tomorrow, day after next class. This entire week is very, very crucial for us. Let's recap once again what we learned so far till now. So here it is, just wait for a few moments. Just wait, okay? Yes, here we go. We started from introduction, installation, basics and Excel imports. We went on with constraints, joins, group by last week. And then we learned about views, joins, and joins are mainly for Excel analytics. Okay, views for Excel analytics. Procedure functions. Here we got daytime functions and merging them together. And next, we learned about data types. Next comes triggers, sorry, transactions. This one. We'll talk about transactions next. Index basics we need to learn. Then we are going to learn about something called merge, self joins, normal forms, and tables. Whatever we learn so far today, till today, you'll be given one case study. Try to work on the case study and let me know, please. Give it a try. The case study is all about design activities. I'll send you the information now. Please give me a few moments time. In the meantime, anyone, any questions let me know, please, I'll wait. Fine. Notes available for you. Kindly check. I'll wait. Please check. I'll wait for some time. 